Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Tech Tips. Today we're gonna to be talking about the cam lock system, the easy lock system, and the direct thread traditional pistons. Uh, we do have cam lock and easy lock products for rifle silencers uh, so that you can adapt those uh, to that very minimalist rifle suppressor uh, adaptation to cam lock or easy lock. But this specific video covers piston integration for your pistol suppressors. So first and foremost, why did Griffin Armand decide to engineer and produce the cam lock and easy lock systems? Well, that's because there are three key problems with the traditional direct thread piston. That is that it's slow, it is also inaccurate, and it suffers from problems with uh, breaking loose off of the fire, firearm and essentially causing baffle strikes and end cap strikes. And thirdly, it's tedious to configure from one piston to another to set it up for say a metric pistol versus a American threaded pistol. So those three reasons are why we decided to try to come up with a mounting system that was faster, also uh, more stable, more robust, and uh, fixed to the firearm with, with a passive retention system, uh, which is a taper. And then also with the use of adapters on the, on the pistol barrels, you no longer need to configure the piston back and forth, you know, removing it from the silencer, getting your hands dirty, things like that. So the Camlock system actually was the original system that we, that we wanted to produce. Uh, it features three uh, lobes of threads on it, uh, hence Camlock. Um, this is a very fast system. It only takes about one second to install the suppressor. Uh, that, that system, we believe, is the superior system. Uh, when we originally fielded Camelock, after about six months or eight months, there was approximately one or two percent of people that purchased the product that kind of had a little bit of uh, problems with it because they didn't understand the nuances of the installation. And essentially what that is, is that when you, after you install your adapter, you're going to pull the suppressor onto to the, to the Camelock system and then while turning the silencer, kind of move the suppressor away and that what that does is it provides clearance so that the cam lock can engage the threads and then pull it back into the taper which is on the front of the muzzle device here and the inside of the piston so it takes a little bit of getting used to it uh, but after a couple installs uh, knowing how it how it actually goes on and you know screwing with it for a minute just like you would a lot of other products out there um, essentially it's very easy to use now the easy lock system as it implies is much easier uh, or not much easier, but it's easier. And essentially, if you can install a light bulb, you can install uh, the Easy Lock muzzle device, so or, or the suppressor to the Easy Lock. And so the Easy Lock is different than the Cam Lock in that the Cam Lock has three lugs which are threaded, whereas the Easy Lock has a contiguous thread around the circumference of the adapter, much like a light bulb. So all you do with the Easy Lock is just twist it on like you would a light bulb. There's no nuances to the installation. And the Easy Lock gives up a little bit of speed. It takes about three seconds to install or remove uh, versus the Cam Lock, which is only about a second. But what are you getting out of the Cam Lock and the Easy Lock? You're getting a much faster mounting system, uh, anywhere from three to eight times faster. You're also getting a robust mounting interface that's actually kind of rigidly fixed to the to the host firearm uh, and you're not having to configure the suppressor every time you move it around from gun to gun and uh, essentially what I mean by that is I have these two uh, firearms set up for cam lock uh, this VP9 from HK and also a Glock the Glock has one of our Griffin uh, advanced threaded match barrels in it which is a half by 28 inch thread that's an American standard and the HK VP9 has an OEM barrel from HK which features a 13 half by one left hand barrel. Traditionally, users would have to remove the piston on the pistol silencer, so you'd take a wrench to it, you'd screw that piston assembly out, you'd remove the retaining nut, you'd pull the spring off of it, you'd swap the spring to the other piston, then you'd collapse the piston back in to the suppressor, tighten it on, and now you're good to go. That takes a couple minutes to configure, and with Camelock, once your adapters are installed in the firearms, you can put your silencer on one and move it to the next very easily in just a second. So super fast, um, super rigid and robust, um, 
and just many times improvements over the legacy direct thread piston. Now, I do have a direct thread piston here to show you guys um, just how much slower it is. And like I said, it takes approximately eight to nine seconds or something like that to attach. All right, and once it's attached, um, there's really no provision for it to be locked onto the barrel at all. Um, our lock, when we say easy lock or cam lock, is a passive lock. It's a taper on the, on the end of the adapter and it interfaces with a taper on the inside of the piston. The traditional direct thread piston has a 90 degree shoulder which abuts, which abuts the 90 degree shoulder of the barrel. So there is no uh, feature that locks it onto the gun. And as such, uh, users of pistol silencers over the last several decades, people that are aware of this, uh, have had to check tighten the silencer to the gun approximately every maybe five rounds or something like that. Um, and if you didn't, if you didn't, you know, pause briefly from shooting to reach up and twist the silencer before you continue to shoot, uh, after, you know, even, even as little as a magazine, uh, you could, th the silencer would break loose from its thread and become kind of wobbly on the gun, you wouldn't notice that, and then you'd start baffle striking the baffles in the inside of the silencer because it's, it's not rigidly fixed to the barrel anymore and essentially kind of damage and ruin the silencer. Um, in our 16 years of manufacturing suppressors, uh, I've been tracking customer service pretty closely for the last decade and noticed that 10 times more pistol silencers come back to us for repair versus rifle silencers because of this issue specifically. Um, so the cam lock and easy lock gives you a, a prevention to that problem where you can shoot hundreds of rounds in many cases with the easy lock and the, direct, and the cam lock without having to uh, worry about the suppressor breaking off. Now, we do still recommend that you check to make sure that your suppressor is tight on the cam lock or easy lock every few magazines, but it's not something that you have to check every three to five rounds like you used to with the direct thread uh, pistol silencer. To install the cam lock or the easy lock, uh, you're gonna want to install the adapters to 22 foot-pounds. That's the factory recommended specification. We do not suggest that you use any thread locking compound like blue or red or rock set, nothing like that because, you know, after 500 or 1,000 rounds, or as often as you'd like, when you need to field strip the pistol and remove the barrel, you're gonna have to take the adapter off. So uh, that's why we recommend no thread locker is used, of course. And 22 foot-pounds is not very much torque, to be quite honest. Um, it's very easy to obtain with a needle driver torque wrench. And uh, that is the proper way of doing it. If you'd like to do a field expedient install method, you can grab the stocks of the pistol between your knees and using a standard crescent wrench, you know, give it a nice torque on there and you're probably gonna be good to go. Um, what, what we do not recommend though, is that you kind of finger tighten these adapters on there. That will not work, okay? You need, you need to install them with a little bit of torque. Otherwise, uh, you're gonna pull them off with a silencer essentially. So, uh, install is very easy. Uh, these adapters come in a variety of thread pitches and calibers. Uh, they're 17.4 stainless steel, nitrided. They're precision machined right here in our Watertown, Wisconsin facility. Uh, made in the US, they're great products, very high quality. And if you have any other questions about these products at all, or you need a little bit more information than what I've provided you, I suggest that you go to griffinarmament.com, our website, uh, search for these products, and you'll be able to easily find them. There's a ton of copyright information and data on these products, as well as additional photos and things like that. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, I suggest that you share it with a friend, please. Um, also, follow us on YouTube, uh, Facebook, our Facebook owners group page, which is a private page uh, called the Griffin Armament Owners Group. You can actually interface with other customers there that have already used these products, um, so you don't have to take our word for it. Um, you can talk to other people that enjoy these products. Also, follow us on Instagram, and thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it.